Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to this week's edition of the Spartan Show. On this week's show we get a season preview from assistant men's basketball coach Mason Wood. Senior football player Dakota Nelson will be in to recap the football season and senior cross country runner Blake Harris joins us to discuss his national cross country championship berth. Stay tuned! Assistant men's basketball coach Mason Wood now joins the set. Coach with the season tip off looming, how's the preseason shaped up for the Spartans? You know it's been uh pretty well. I think as a coach you're never really happy with the effort all the time, um, but the guys have been working hard, been working hard in the weight room. Um, we're running a new offense this year, so it's taken some time to kind of grasp all the principles sure. out of that, but um, I think overall I'm excited about this team. I think um, they like each other a lot more uh, than last year's team did. I think uh, they're gelling um, and for the most part, like I said, working, working pretty hard, but um, that's something that we've got to get better at you know we we talk a lot about you know it takes us two or three times to get drills right or two or three times to make a time in a sprint and that stuff carries over to games because you know if you get off to a bad start the first five minutes um, of a game that can really kind of hurt you so we've got to you know be consistent and and from the start be able to start and finish things um, sure. and, and play hard all the time absolutely so you jump right into the schedule of three games in four days to start the season off what are you and the rest of the coaching staff looking for out of this hectic schedule at the beginning of the year? I think consistency. Um, you know, we were sitting in a meeting the other day, and we, you know, the, the biggest thing I think that scares me is you don't know what team's going to show up. Um, and it goes back to my, my first answer as far as, you know, playing hard consistently. So I think that's the one thing. Um, you find out a lot about your team um, when, when you do have to play three games in four days because sure. you're going to be tired, you're going to be fatigued. Uh, two out of the three are on the road. Um, so, you know, those, all those factors uh, will really make you figure out who, you know, what kind of team you have. Um, so, uh, but we're looking forward to it. Great. Well, best of luck with the season, Coach, and see the action this weekend. Thank you. Now it is time to meet your Spartan Show MVP of the week. This week we honor senior cross country runner Blake Harris. Harris was able to add to his stellar season with an 11th place finish this past weekend at the Great Lakes Regional Championships. Harris's time of 2546.1 earned him an automatic qualifying spot to the Division III National Championships this coming weekend. Congratulations, Blake. Our MVP of the week, Blake Harris, is now with us. Blake, it was another successful weekend for you as you were able to finish 11th in the Great Lakes Regional Championships. Um, how was the race Saturday and what were you able to do to finish so well? Um, it was a pretty decent race. Um, yeah, it was probably one of the harder races I've had, having to like actually work at it the whole 8K. Not to sound like pretentious or anything, but to really have to like dig the whole time. That's tough to do, um, but it's fun to do now and again. So, um, yeah, just mostly working at it the whole time, not getting complacent, and worked out well. Yeah, awesome. Um, your <clears throat> your finish gave you an automatic qualifying spot into, in the Division Three National Championships. Uh, what are you gonna have to do this week in order to prepare for the championships? Um, first thing I need to do is kind of lose the cold I have. I got that Friday night, and it's kind of hanging around. Um, so I prefer to lose that um, and just kind of chill out for the week. Most of the stuff we can do to get ready is done. So yeah, just kind of enjoy the experience and do my best. And that's what I got to do. Awesome. Uh, thanks for joining us and uh, good luck this weekend. All right. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Yep. We send it out to Carl W. Burt Memorial Field for this week's highlight segment. With the bronze ball on the line, the Spartan football team welcome in HEAC foe Anderson University. The large contingent of Spartan fans saw 17 players honored on Senior Day. Determined to leave on a good note, the Black and Gold were able to earn a 22-9 victory. Offensively, the Spartans were able to earn over 300 yards. Alex Downer contributed with 11 completed passes, while Donovan Henderson Jr. rushed for 128 yards and a touchdown. Defensively, the Spartans held the Raven offense to 200 yards on the day. The Spartan defense was able to intercept Anderson four times during the game. Cody Shelton added two of the picks to the stat sheet. Seven Spartans added at least five tackles to the contest with Jack Kay leading the way with eight. With the victory, the Spartans were able to keep the coveted bronze ball in North Manchester for yet another year. Senior football player Dakota Nelson now joins us on set. Dakota, you added your 34th career scoring play to your stat line on Saturday against Anderson. That gives you another Manchester record for being involved in that many touchdowns during your career. So what has made you so successful in your time here at Manchester University? 
Um, what I think has been most successful for me is just given the opportunity to play for a lot of different good coaches, uh, play with a lot of different good guys. Um, just allowing these players to help me, make me, make me better on uh, scout team, whether it be in practice or just the guys around me, the linemen or quarterbacks, and I just have a really good chance to play with a lot of different good guys. So sure. that's what helped me. Out. You had a great career. I mean, it's been a pleasure to watch you over these last few years. You've had a really great ending to your season, especially with these last four wins with the guys. Um, so looking back on your time here at Manchester, what is maybe a favorite memory that you'll take away about playing here at Manchester or right up to your graduation? Um, the biggest memory for me is probably this last season, uh, last chance to play with Dylan, you know, my little brother's on team number two, but just this last year, uh, breaking history with the six and four record or the records we've broken as an mm -hmm. offense or as individuals, but probably just this last season, this last game against Anderson, uh, retaining the bronze ball once more and just going away with a, a win. Yeah, absolutely. Well, Dakota, we do congratulate you on a great season, you and the team, and we do wish you the best of luck in your future endeavors. Thank you. That's all the time we have this week. Stay up to date with all Manchester scores, news, and stats by visiting muspartans.com. We'll see you again in two weeks as we take a week off for Thanksgiving break. Happy Thanksgiving, and we'll see you soon. Thanks for watching our video. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. To watch our latest video, click the box here. To subscribe to our channel, click this circle.